Hey guys, welcome to this uh, new video. With me I have Rain in the Snow. That's right. And okay. today we're actually going to be playing Angry Birds. Yeah. Now there's a reason why we're playing Angry Birds today and it's not because it's the coolest thing or anything, but okay. Yeah, I think I finally got the audio figured out. So, um, yeah. So believe it or not, Angry Birds are real. That's fun. I remember it? first playing that. Let's see. Oh, let's do classic, right? That's uh, yeah. Sorts that. Here we go. So. If, uh, believe it or not, like back in 2009, Angry Birds was, was a thing. So everybody was playing Angry Birds. So that was like when gaming on phone, like, was just like starting. So, uh, I was not doing gamings on phone and I actually had this game on the PS3, I believe. Mm -hmm. And I got it on the PS3 because it was like a cross-play. So, a cross-buy, actually. So, if you got it on the PS3, you actually got it on the PSP as part of the PSP minis. Uh, so, I remember I got this game and, cool. you know, you know, whenever you play games and it's kind of like, you know, I always put an example like Mario because that's your basic game. Right. So, so, you have the world 1-1 one, one, and there's only one way to beat it, right? Mm -hmm. Just start right here, and there's a flag, and there's a castle, and that's it. So to me, Angry Birds was like the same thing because I was seeing it as a game. It was like my first experience with like a mobile game, if you may, if you will. So uh, I remember being stuck in one game, and I was like, I can't get it. And, and you were like, Oh, I can get it. You were like, what, four years old at the time. So I was like, yeah, sure, whatever. And I remember I handed over the controller to you. Uh, and sure as heck, like, you got it. So uh, I believe this had to be probably the first game, if not one of the first ones that you played, right? I think it is my first, but I'm pretty sure. Is it? Yeah. So do you remember yeah. playing it or, at all or...? Oh yeah, yeah. I played this quite a bit. Um, yeah, I remember when we would go on road trips, I would take the PSP with me and I would just be like vibing in the backseat, just playing Angry Birds. And yeah. That's with the PSP? Yeah. Yeah, that, was, that, that one was great. Like I said, I don't know, like... Like I said, I remember back in the day, like everybody was like in the whole Angry Bird thing. And I just remember, like I said, I was like stuck in it. And then I asked somebody who like, I think like I Googled it or went to YouTube to find a video or something like that. And, you know, like you got the first move. And I mean, you for you to replicate somebody else's move, like, you know, impossible. So uh, it's like every everyone is different so uh it was so hard and i i just remember being frustrated in the heck and i was like i don't know and then you're like yeah i got it let me try it and i was like all <laughs> right have fun and i think you made it farther than i did why do you even like this game man i honestly don't know i just think that this was like one of the like things that i was good at or something and it was just very satisfying shooting one of these red birds and just getting like a strike and like it's satisfying to like kill all the pigs at once i don't know why but like right. I, I would go back and try to get three stars on like all the levels right and like man and see and does the thing like i can probably get well obviously here i can't even get one uh well before you were able at least to see where you're going and hear like no but like 
What I'm talking about, like, you used to see, like, those dots. Oh, they're there. They're just very small. Okay, finally got it. But, yeah, like, I could, like, get, like, the first and second, but, like, I could never get, like, beyond those levels, like, three stars, like, impossible. But I, it, I, it got really hard, like, as it progressed. I remember, like, one of the last levels took me a really long time to beat. Have you ever done, like, all of them? I don't think I have. I mean, I've probably... So, on the PSP version, there's, like, three different, like, I guess, worlds. You can say in each uh, world has, like, 50 levels. On the PSP, you're saying Yeah. And I think I cleared the first one and halfway on the second one. But it's just... The second one's, like, super ridiculously hard. See, like... It gets dumb. (laughs) Dude, like, like they have like the Star Wars ones, you know that, right? Oh, and, the uh, Star Wars ones are so fun. Are they? Yeah, you you can uh with red, you can like tap the screen and then it'll like throw his lightsaber. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I remember. And like there's like the 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 fat one, uh, the color one. Uh, he has the force or something like that because whenever he's flying, like you hit the force and he just kind of like. Oh yeah, pushes yeah. all of them, right? Yeah, and yeah. also Chuck the the yellow bird shoots a gun like Han Solo. Oh, the laser! Yeah. yeah, man, that was a that's a cool game. I I really liked the uh, the Star Wars one, and then there's also the uh, Angry Birds Space. I like that one. Yeah, I haven't seen that one. The physics are like amazing, cause like it's like you're on like a planet. And then you shoot, and then it, like, orbits around the planet and, like, hits, like... I think i seen that one. That one's really cool. It, it's, that sounds familiar, but... It's neat. I may be thinking of, like, the one bird that's, like, a boomerang or whatever. Oh, I hate that bird. It's so hard to control because you have to precisely, like, super, like... You know which one I'm talking about, right? Yeah. I think it's yellow. It's green. Green? Yeah. Yeah, the one that's, like, a boomerang, like... Like he goes and then you top it again and then he yeah. curves and then you just goes the other way. Yeah, screw that bird, man. I, th- I think there was one level where it was just him. <laughs> oh, really? Just yeah. a bunch of him? Like six or seven and yeah. you <laughs> fell on all of them? <laughs> so stupid. That stupid game, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. But that's the thing, man. No, dude. And like I said, at one point, like everybody was freaking playing this, this game and, and, and they actually have one... I can't remember. It was an ad. I saw it in an ad. Uh, I don't know if it was a website or I don't know what kind of sketchy thing I was doing that it was like in one of those ads that they that they show you, right? And I was like, <laughs> okay, that looks fun. Oh, I know what it was. It was uh, draw something. So I was drawing something and you had to watch these videos, right? So uh, it was like... Uh, <laughs> I don't know what kind of sketchy thing. <laughs> <laughs> so it was a video it actually looked like like it would be like promising right so i was like okay that's actually not bad it was like a uh, candy crush mm-hmm. but with like angry birds and uh and i think i played it like i got pr- <laughs> i got i got not pretty far but i got like i got like level i don't know 15 16 and but dude, it's one of those things like, it's kind of like you need, well, you know how gaming has gotten now. Like here, like you play it, you run out of birds, you try it again. Well, that one, it was kind of like that, but you run out of birds, and per se, and uh, you had to either buy another bird or wait, or right. or yeah, or like watch sixty videos. Well, I, I think like on that one there was no option like. Uh, because like you can only try the level so many times okay so you can only try the level like five times and beyond those five times you had to wait like five minutes or you had to pay to continue playing but like for instance here we ran out of birds but we're like so close right so you had the option to buy a bird to continue this level without exiting it and then if you miss it well tough for the luck right well, I got stuck in that level, dude, and I, I swear to God, like, I did it, like, perfect, and you were always missing a bird, 
And I was like, now nah, forget that stupid game, man. I deleted it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> thanks to draw something. <laughs> I know, dude. Like, for real, man. For wasting my time. It's wasting my time, dude. Like, like that was so ridiculous, man. But yeah, man. Like, like I just can't. I just can't believe that you were like four years old. And you were like beating this thing, like. Like, here I am trying to play it, and I'm like, all right, that's it for me, man. Like, <laughs> I remember they made an, uh, a Halloween special. Dude, it, it was like, there was just like Angry Birds everywhere, man. Like, there, was there's like, so many versions. I mean, heck, they, don't they have like a movie about it? Yeah, there's two. There's they're, two they're movies? They're funny. Aren't they? I, I like those. Oh, I, I haven't even words. seen it. Like, I honestly got fed up with that stupid thing. It's like... I, I like the second one. Really? The second one's good. Yeah. Oh, man. To me, it was like having too much cake, dude. Like, at one point, it just like... It was enough. Because they had like the, the one with the Transformers. You, have you ever seen those? Like, the, 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 the red one is Optimus, and he's just kind of like walking around. He actually has a body. And he transformed. That That's one, weird. Have you seen that one? No. No? Oh, dude, you need to Google that. Uh, I don't think they have that game anymore, but they might. It was actually fun, dude. But I think with this whole microtransaction bullcrap, it just, I think it just ruined, like, games, period, man. Like, you know, imagine if you EA get. EA loot boxes. Yeah, well, it's like it's like Hilo. You know, he has the Smash Brothers games, right? And uh, did, did you hear when we were talking about this? When we were no. talking about the Smash Brothers? So, we legit bought that game. I don't know, like, how much that game was, but it was, like, it was more than five bucks, obviously. I mean, it's, like, I mean, Smash Brothers is very popular. How much is that? Like, $50? Maybe, yeah. Okay, let, let's say let's say $40, $50. So, uh, he was telling me, like, hey, dude, can I get the game? And I'm, like, you have the game. And he's, like, no, can I? It's not the game. It's a demo. And I was like, no, it's not a demo. And he was like, yeah, it is a demo because all the characters and all the maps are in a DLC. So you buy a $50 game and yet half of the crap you had to buy additionally. So in his eyes, I can see why he thinks it's a demo because this is just like a little bit. You know, the real thing is you have to purchase online as a DLC and it's crap. So imagine if you have, you know, these Angry Birds and you bought it and you play 18 levels and the other 20 are DLC and you have to pay an extra That's whatever That's ridiculous. For it. That's just stupid, man. Like I said, the way that this whole, uh, what you might call it, the, the way that this whole microtransaction works is like retarded, man. Like, I don't get it. Yeah, it, it makes no sense. Absolutely, you know. Here, let me try it, man. I'll get it. I'll avenge you, man. I think, uh, I'm pretty sure they made, uh, a, it's not like an Angry Birds, like, special thing, or like, a collab with somebody, but like, they redid the artwork for it, and then they made another Angry Birds game. Really? And it, it was actually... I'm going to see if I can find it. It was fun. I liked it. I don't remember if it was like... Oh, God darn it, dude. It had the system as you have five lives, and then if you lose five times, you have to wait 24 hours to get your life. Really? But it was really fun. I remember that. No, dude, like I said, I... See, now I got that stupid pig, man. Like... (laughs) Like I said to me, like I played it a lot, but like I, I don't think like on these kind of games, like that's oh. what it was. It was with cards. That's why I didn't like. Dude, it. like I literally missed it with cars. Yeah, cards. Oh, with cards. Oh, whatever cards you had were the birds that you used in the battle. Oh, gotcha. See, that that that's the thing, man. Like. God, look, dude, I got the egg and I missed a freaking pig, man. That's the thing, man. Like, that's so. You gotta know when to quit because, like, they were like doing Angry Birds everything shoes, you know, shirts. That's uh, good. 
that was a good hit. <laughs> yeah, but watch it. I'm going to miss everything freaking out. It's like that stupid pug, pig right there. Look at that. <laughs> Don't make me Come say on. it. Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> what a so freaking stupid. retard, man. That's dumb, dude. See, that's that's what happened to me, man. Like, I was like, okay, I had enough of this game. Like, Do you remember this? They made a spin-off for the pigs and made bad piggies. Do you remember oh, that? Oh, I do remember that, man. Like, they were making the, the pigs and they were like, you had to build things, right? Yeah. That's cool. Did you, that one, did that you even play fun. that one? Yeah. Is that still a thing? Yeah. Oh, my God. I have totally forgot about that game, dude. That's a cool game. Don't they have, like, it has more than one. It has, I think they made more than one. I have no idea. They made a Angry Birds car game. <laughs> That's ridiculous. An Angry Birds car game? A racing game. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, that actually like did you uh I think that one is actually good. Wait, I, I think I have vivid I feel like I've played this before. Yep. I, I Boy. Yeah, I played it before. I put a review for it in 2014. Oh, really? What does your <laughs> review say? Five star. <laughs> what do you say on it? It's nothing. It's just five stars. Just five stars? <laughs> All right, man. We're going to play F in Rio, man. I'm pretty sure the reason why I put five stars was they were probably pressuring me into saying, we've seen you been playing this. Do you want to put a review? And I'm like, no, not now. And then just keep on reminding me because that's happened to me on games before. Oh, yeah, when they, they used to, like, do you want to put a review now? The one that I hate the most is whenever they asking me, like, you know, you love this thing, you want to put a review? And I'm like, yeah, sure. And then I go in and I already have a review. And then they'll still ask me if I want to put a review, even though I already put a review. <laughs> yeah, freaking Rio is better, man. This Angry Birds Rio is actually fun. I like this one. Oh, really? I think I... I played a couple times. But see, like, you get them all, one hit, two stars. What the heck, dude? Like, how are you supposed to I get know, more I, stars? I know. Like, what are they expecting you to do? Not even use the burn. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, what you're going to get only, like, two stars. I think, like, sometimes you get, like, a lot of points because you destroy, like, a bunch of those boxes. But still. Still, if it's one hit, like, see... Dude, that was about a lot of boxes, man. I know. That makes no sense. I think I did I did play real. Were these games free? I mean, obviously, here you had to pay them, like... But on the phone, were they free? Yeah. Really? I don't know where they paid you on the consoles. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, I don't know how they can get away with this because, see, we're going to get three stars, probably. Uh, but, yeah, on the consoles, you get to pay, and they aren't, they aren't cheap, man. On on the consoles, like, really? Yeah, they're not cheap, man. They're they charge you a big they charge you a big penny for it. But like on phones, but granted, you don't have any uh, ads on this. Yeah, which I'm glad. Could you imagine getting an ad on your PS4? Oh, wait until PS5 hits, man. We may <laughs> ad breaks. <laughs> yeah, so fast. The thing is, so fast, it's gonna have to have ads. In between cutscenes. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, Rio's, Rio's a lot better than the other one, man. Screw the other one. Yeah, it, it pulled those cards in, like, the beginning of the game. Like, those hard levels. On the beginning, right? Yeah, here, at least at least you uh, you probably get to level 14 before you start, like, screaming for help. And then the other one, heck, we got, like, what, the third one? Third, fourth? Probably. And we already quit. We're like, screw. <laughs> nice. This is way easier. What yeah. The heck? You know, you may not get the three stars, but at least you can progress on the game. You know what I'm saying? Like, instead of like just being stuck, like you can't even, like the one pig, man. The one pig. 
Oh my god. Like, and you got it. All those picks with just one. One shot. And I knew what was going to happen. I knew that. Oh, yeah. We never even on the first one got to like use the other birds. No. We were still on we the red. We were still on the red. Yeah. We died in the tutorial. Yeah. If you, if you can even be the tutorial, man, like that's not a game to play. Like, forget that game, dude. I, I remember you showed me the uh, the Mario if it had a tutorial. The oh, very yeah. First Mario. Yeah, when he tells you, like, yeah, you do this to run. Like, dude, like, just let me play the game. The worst is. Let me figure it out. Like, <sighs> the, worst the worst thing in the tutorial that can happen to any gamer is when the tutorial told you how to walk <laughs> and how to look around. Does it, does it actually? You've never seen those tutorials? Oh, my God, dude. Like, like use the left analog to move and use the, the right analog to freaking, like, look around. Like, um, I mean, I don't know. I can't remember, like, uh, one of the recent games, but I was playing Peace Walker the other day. And that's, that game is not old at all. The, the, the Metal piece, Gear song? Yeah. And on that tutorial, they tell you, like, you know, like, look up with the right analog stick. Look up now. And then you have to look up. And then and then whenever you look up, it kind of gives a sound like, dun -dun, and then they're like, good. Now look to your left, shoulder. And then you have to look to your left. with it. And then after they verify that you are not dumb enough and you can actually like <laughs> use the right analog you, stick, <laughs> You can continue in the game. It's like, oh my god! <laughs> what do you mean? I'm. You know, I had to walk to the door so that you can tell me that in order to walk, I have to use the left analog stick. Like so... that's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> At least put it before you go walk. Yeah, like yeah, you I literally walk like two rooms, and then you're like. Here's a helpful hint. You can walk with the left analog stick. <laughs> like, thanks. <laughs> uh, so ridiculous, it's... man. <laughs> Here's a hint. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> yeah, dude. Like, the other day I was playing this game, and I was actually looking forward to this game. Oh, I can't remember the name of it. It's like the Sinking City or something like that. Oh, yeah, the Sunken City. Yeah, so I literally, you, you start the game, and you're, like, in this room... And because uh, you're like in a boat, uh, they ship you somewhere and, and you can't get out of the room until you collect your gear. And I collected everything and I could not get out of the room. Like, what was that? Dude? So <laughs> what? literally, dude, like, just imagine you start the game and you are in a room, right? There's only so many things in a room and I could not get out of the room. Like, I could not get out of the room. And every time that I try to get out of my room, it'll say, like, you got to collect all your gear. So I was like, I collected everything that's in that room. And I went back inside. And, dude, I was there for, like, 30 minutes. Because I was like, I am not going to look for a walkthrough on how to get out of this stupid butt room, right? On how to complete the tutorial. I, it wasn't even the the game had just started, dude. Like I wasn't even given a hint or anything. It was just like, get your stuff and get out of the boat. And I couldn't. Like I was grabbing everything, and and finally I look at a uh, uh, walkthrough and I figure it out. So I did grab everything, but you have a gun in the table, and you grab the. You know, you, there's an option for you to grab it, obviously. Mm -hmm. So you grab the gun and. And just imagine that the gun is like in the whole screen. You're looking at it, right? Mm -hmm. And he's like, oh, this is a gun. It must be useful for later on. And then he puts it back. There's not an option for you to take it or anything. So what you have to do is like when you had the gun and you're looking at the gun with the right analog stick, you can actually turn the gun, right? And as you turn the gun, it has like some serial number or something. And then... Only then it triggers the ability for you to keep the gun. But if you just clicked it on it, like you won't. You actually have to turn it. And I was like, In, isn't this dumb, dude? So I got out and, and the world like opens uh, a lot more than a room. And I got stuck somewhere and I was like, nah, dude, forget this game. I mean, if you're going to pick up everything, you have to like really... 
I mean, I don't know, dude, but like, you know, sometimes when I play games, I just want to destroy stuff like these things. <laughs> all I want to do is grab the bird and freaking toss it and break the freaking bricks. That's all I want to do. I'm not going to be reading journals and, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got no time for that. If I'm going to be reading journals and crap, I want to go back to school and get a degree on something, you know? <laughs> <laughs> You got it, man. <laughs> I mean, you know what I'm saying, dude? Like, yeah. I don't have time for that crap, man. Like, Yeah, when there's too much reading, it just gets boring. Yeah. You're kind of like, oh, okay. You just like, yeah, to me, the, to me, the, I don't know, dude. Like I said, uh, I mean, there's some people that like that, but. I remember, I think it's when we played uh, Rule of Rose. Whenever there would be reading, you'd be like, Maroney, read it. And then I read it, and then you just be doing something. Else. I know, dude. Like, no, don't, don't. I'm not. I'm not gonna be reading this, man. I don't even read my mom's emails, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even read her text. You think I wanna be reading freaking games, dude? Just kind of like, <laughs> yeah. See a paragraph. You just overlook it. You're like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that, dude. That's what I could never play. Like, uh, what's this? What's the name of this game? Like, The Legend of Zelda or whatever. Yeah. Uh, because like there's no tag i mean there's no audio for the most part it's just uh, a bunch of dialogue yeah at least on the old ones i haven't really played the the new ones but like on the old ones dude it's all just text and i was like man no dude like, i think the only legend of zelda i really played was the one on the ds it was with the train with the train it was with the train i don't uh. know how else to explain it you, you go on a train Really? And then, I don't know how to explain it. So you're, like, in a village, and then you go on a train, and then you go to, like, this the castle. And then you disguise as, like, or you you take the princess, and then you have to sneak out of the castle and get back on the train. And that is super hard, to sneak the, like, princess, because you have to use the stylus to, like, draw a pattern of where you're going to walk. Really? And then at the same time, the guards are moving. <laughs> hmm. So, like, they can catch you. I don't think I've ever seen that uh, game. It's with the uh, Toon Link. The oh, really? The Cartoon Link. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's cool. There it is. It was a Zite. A Zite? Zite. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I, I, I don't know. To me, I don't see the hype for the Zeldas. That's just me. Yeah, but, you know, teach your own to anybody, you know, whatever. But like, I don't know. Like, I even, you know, Breath of the Wild supposedly like supposedly like really good or whatever, and uh, but even then, I'm kind of like, eh. You know, I don't know. It never. Didn't we play for like a little bit? Yeah, we played for a little bit. We got it like two days before it came out. We made a little review. I remember you made one. Yeah, you weren't here too. You were like where at school or I? something. I don't think I was at school. No, I don't know where you were. Somewhere. <laughs> Yeah, but or you were chilling making videos. <laughs> 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 oh man. Well man. This is your your first man. That's right. So how does it feel replaying it and seeing how frustrating this thing really is? I mean I just received. That was nice. That was really cool. <laughs> Is it that you remember it? Because I remember when I played uh, the Smurf one. I mean, I mean that's exactly how I remember it. But it, it was fun playing it again. Like it was like, oh yeah, right. that's pretty cool. Like, is that how this thing was to you, or it was kind of like, eh? I mean, I just played it like last week on the PSV. Oh really? Yeah. Which one? This? The, the classic one. The classic one? Oh, yeah, because we still have the PSP, right? Yeah, it's in your room, I'm pretty sure. But, yeah. 
still like it and still yeah really I actually forgot all about it till just recently well cool man cause this is like I said this is one of the games that I could probably play for for a little bit and then if I never ever play it again like I'm totally fine with it like, it wouldn't <laughs> hurt my feelings it's a good game to pass the time, though. If yeah. You're bored. And See, the thing is, like, you know, this is the type of games that if you're, like, in the subway or on your way from point A to point B, if you just want to play something really quick while you're waiting for the doctor or you're waiting for whatever, like, you can just do, like, a couple levels and then, you know what I'm saying, and then move on. I suppose that you're playing The Witcher and... Uh, one side mission could take you up to like an hour and a half. So like, if you don't have that time to spare, don't even turn it on. You know, like, like there was one time that like, I, w I had like 30 minutes and I was like, well, let me play The Witcher. And then I remember how long does it take? And I was like, yeah, I can't even go through my inventory and pick up my weapons and gear up for the level in 30 minutes. So it's like, pfft, oh yeah, you know, it's whatever, man, like. You know, screw that. I'm going to use 30 minutes of my time to look at the items in my backpack. <laughs> exactly. And <laughs> trying to decide what I'm going to take. And then three days later, you're like, where the hell was I? And then you're going to spend 30 minutes again trying to figure out what you need. Yes. Yeah. Like I said, it's a, it's a good, that's why it was a mobile game. I mean, for a console, I don't see myself sitting for three hours playing this thing. Like, like I said, this is. Also, like, I wouldn't buy this. Well, I didn't. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess I did back then. <laughs> but, but yeah, like I said, I think it was probably like, uh, how much was this game? It had to be, it was probably like four ninety nine. <laughs> it was probably like four ninety nine because it was like the, <laughs> the PlayStation minis. I said it was like, it was not net nine dollars. It was probably like four ninety nine, but still right. four ninety nine. Like, give me a break for a Come free on. game. Yeah, for a free game, and that's the thing. Like, heck, we just got the Tomb Raider for free on Steam. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like a legit fifty dollars, sixty dollars game is free on Steam because of the whole freaking coronavirus or whatever. Like, everybody's we're, getting. We aren't getting sales, so like, we're just gonna like <laughs> add it to the cart. <laughs> All right, man. Well, thanks for bringing us to memory lane, man, with your first game. No problem. It's fun. It's fun, man. We need to do more. Yeah. All right, man. Well, we'll see you next time. Yeah. Make sure, guys, if you like our recent uploading, make sure to smash that subscribe button and hit that bell if you want to be notified whenever we make these awesome videos because me and you both know that these are awesome. That's right, man. <laughs> You, you know you guys like our commentary. Yes. <laughs> All right. See you guys.